It seems that everyone needs that place where they can be themselves. Jimmy Carter, when he was president, would return often to Plains, Georgia, to the peanut farm, and people who observed saw his shoulders relax as he walked the fields. But not only famous people, but everyday folks need those places. I remember a while back returning to my elementary school where I hadn't visited for 30 years. No one was there. And I hopped the fence so I could walk the schoolyard and remember that little boy, remember me. As memories flooded in, I felt myself return to the simple, basic me. Now, some say that religion takes me away from me, away from being real. All the lofty talk of God and his ideals takes me away from who I really am, they say. I become fake, a hypocrite. Maybe there's some truth in that. I focus on who I wish I were and maybe cover up and hide from the real me. I remember a pastor friend who had an elegant way with words and as a very capable man, he became a well-loved leader in the church organization. But I remember he told me one time, I have a gift for talking to street corner men. Now, these are not men on the corner of Rodeo Drive and Wilshire. These were downtown men in Los Angeles who could pick it up instantly if he wasn't being real. But he felt at ease with these men, and they helped him be at ease with himself. Now, of course, many people keep their distance from God and religion so they can keep it real. But what if God himself wants to meet me on that street corner, that everyday place where I am simply me? What if he wants to talk with me about my life and what is going on all around me? What if he wants to talk to the real me? Well, fortunately, we have lots of evidence that God wants to do exactly that. In the poetic writings of David in the Bible, he shares a conversation he had with God at a time when he'd been exposed as messing up very badly. He said to God, my sins are staring me down. But he kept God in the conversation, and he kept it very real. And David said to God, you desire truth, truth in the inward being. In the message version, he says, what you're after is truth from the inside out. Truth, genuineness, the real me. And from that place of honest conversation with God, Apparently, real growth and change is possible. The real deal. Living in the truth about me is apparently a vital step toward living in the truth about him. Him. Real goodness. Real compassion. Real love. As David put it, from that place of truth, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Yeah. Yeah. Let it reach me down deep, all the way to honest, all the way to real.